Yo, what up, bro? This is What y'all doing? It's me, Diddy Gamble, with the TMI Report. Welcome now, Mimi is ahead of y'all by like a whole definition, like three topics. So, mind y'all, y'all getting this ad libbed. Like, I know what I'm talking about, but y'all just catching the rawness after I state the fact. Now, I this topic I got from Casey Glenn was, you know, the drama effect. So my little white girl ass decided we gonna Google this shit. Social dramas with the Caucasian community cause it. As opposed to a normal socializing or relationship where normal socializing can involve spending time with other people, talking about all kinds of topics, including yourself, listening to your friends do the same. And adjusting any conflicts that arise directly and assertively. That means if you have a problem with your friend socially because of how they're acting in public, that means you have every right to say something. Because that's drawling. That's in the way. You supposed to be my friend. You drawling. You 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 just a draw box. Like you drawling. I don't know how else to fucking say it. So <clears throat> anyway, back to the TMI report speech. I gotta catch y'all Facebook people up. Anyway, TMI to everyone that's putting up jump lives. Jump lives is videos of people, of young people, jumping people. Like, they have a group of their friends with another group of their friends that they be from Fred, and they just start fighting. Like, you know, a big free-for-all, for real, for real. But it's supposed to start off as a one. Like, the videos I've been seeing recently, they were supposed to start off as ones. Like, by myself, uno uno, umano, umano, by my damn soul. This is war, not battle. It's a difference. So, you know, they sitting there, la di da think it's cute. You put it on Facebook thinking that cops and other people think you won't, they don't see. Like, what if your grandmama decided today or tomorrow to create a Facebook and she see that? Like, I don't know about y'all parents, but my dad, and God rest my mama's soul, would kill me for making a Facebook video like that. I will tell y'all this now. My dad don't play that shit. Even though he believes we can fight him, I don't want to fight him either. He's kind of strong and tall. I don't fuck with tall and strong dudes. They, they, they strong and tall. Like, fuck. Hi, dad. Hi, if he's got a Mimi. But, like, hi, dad. Uh, so, now you got the who by who or somebody else that's not in the fight recording the fight. So you can be like, oh shit girl, she getting junk because she wasn't doing da, 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 da. She wasn't even supposed to be fighting. She was just there to make sure her friend didn't get jumped. So the fact that you are now sitting there jumping her, you look at and completely in the fucking wrong. Like, you're in the wrong for that. Like, what you thought this was? Like, no, 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 no. This is not I win candy. This is not stealing candy from a baby. You want to fight her, you fight her or him on your own. Or just don't start that beef. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah, you just going to look and then leave. Anyway. TMI to the Dasani and Aquafina Water Companies. So, Y'all killing the hood now. So I see y'all. I see y'all player, 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 player. Y'all won't see the fuck out of me drinking. Y'all not as water sitting there poisoning us slowly, wondering why we be having cancers and shit. Like, fuck. Nope, that's not okay. That's not cute. That's not attractive. I don't. Water should be the safest thing that we are at least able to drink in this world since we gotta buy it, apparently. That should be the safest thing, especially with all these steroids, these XYZs, and test subjects, and test tubes, and rats, and smush cat, and all the other good shit that apparently we be eating. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. I eat shrimp fried rice and, like, chicken wings. Like, I don't even eat chicken wings from the Chinese store. I really just eat a fried rice. No onions, no scallions, well, scallions, no onions, shrimp. That simple. It's rice. The rice is fake. I don't know how. I don't. That's like saying broccoli is fake. How the fuck is broccoli fake? 
well, unless you got sprayed with pesticide and it grew like four or five times its size so it could feed a whole family, but eh, eh, no, 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 no. So, Aquafina, y'all cute? Y'all cute or whatever? That's what y'all doing? No, y'all not. Do you know what color? No, what? No, stay in the Kill Harrell for Hood by Hood Hill to pay attention and see part two of the Water Ionizing Project. Oh my gosh, you should have seen the first one. Girl, that was lit. I'm telling you, that was so lit. Anyway, TMI to the people who woke up with drama, puss, and piss in their cereal every fucking morning. Just waking up full of shit. Like, they shit that they do take in the morning is not even relevant. Because they just so full of shit. They just made out of shit. They just a pile of Trump shit. You just a pile of Trump dump. How about that? Motherfuckers. Anyway, like... How do you be so unhappy with yourself? How? Like, I don't understand it. I don't get it. I would think you would be like, well, ma no matter your religion, you would be like, you know, thank God I woke up today or thank the Lord that I got to see another day or at least I didn't wake up blind, Lord. Thank you. Amen. Something. You shouldn't be waking up. Yo, go do this. Go do that. I'm going to be your pimp for the day. No, bitch, because I will smack the shit out you. You're not going to constantly tell me what to do when you're upset because you just woke up on the wrong side of bed and everything in your body hurt. Like, ain't nobody tell you to be sleeping sideways. Like, the fuck? Sleep correct, you'll land correct. Like, keep your head in the game, you'll stay focused and win the game. Just saying. TMI to the men who gossip and keep shit going like grade school girls. Girly boy Mitches. Now, I don't believe in it. He's. I told Mimi this. Ah, right, you can. You could go and create a Mimi to see this. But I just told Mimi, I go to the horse's mouth for any information that I want or need, because I'm not about to sit there and be like, oh well, she said da 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 da. Oh well, he said da 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 da. And then they both be like, well, no, I ain't say da da da. Man, shit, you said this, get over it. He said that, get over it. And if both of y'all got a problem, it's Mitches, male Mitches, or we can say bitches too. I say bitches, because, mm, anyway. You know, you got the constant naggering. Like, you start sounding like a female on a fucking period. Like, that shit weird. You know, like, that's what makes me call people fags. And I haven't said that word in a while. So, I think that topic deserves that. Because that, that's, um, that's not okay. That's not okay. That's not cute. That's not, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Like, you can't just constantly, <laughs> bitches. <laughs> like, you can't. Like, you, what you so scary for? Like, you got something to say to or about a person, just say it to their face. Be a man enough to say it. If you man enough to say it behind their back, you should say, you should be able to say it in front of their face. If you're gonna be manly about this, you can't just be sideways with it. That's weird. That's that's weird. That's that weird shit. That's where we get people get cursed the fuck out from. Just that constant. Oh, I'ma do this, and I'ma start this drama, that drama, drama effects. You done did. You done said this. So like. Three, four, five other people done called this person and asked them, oh, the girl, did you do this, 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 this? If it's true, she's going to be like, oh, girl, who you heard it from? I'm about to Google their ass real quick. Or smacked, or smacked, it depends. Go up and name out be the way. Listen, I'll run up in your shit. I'll dog your shit. I do not give a fuck. Especially when it comes to that he say, she say shit. He say, she say. I cannot say she, she she say, she say, there you go, you can't, that, that back and forth is not okay for me, it was never okay, it was just something that, to me is, why, you <laughs> think, like, it, it would just be seeming to, I don't know how to put it, you a little bitch, you a little bitch, Shizmak was right, you a little bitch, real shit, you not even a bitch. You a little bitch. Like, yo, that's not okay to, oh, I'm going to go go with this group today, be fake to them, then go be fake to them, and start talking shit about both. 
what if you get caught up? Like, not with, well, not if, when you get caught up, what do you think most people are going to react and do? Because most people are not nice. Like, oh, well, you didn't mean it. I'm going to just let it go. Let it go. Like, Elsa. It don't work like that. Like, shit, if you want to live in, you want to live in Elsa world, move to the fucking Antarctica and freeze your ass to death. Like, the fuck. Now, TMI to the Su choosy Ruchi coochie chicks on the bus smelling like raw ass motherfucking fish markets. Now, please, please tell me why it's acceptable in this fucking heat to be smelling like outdoors and everything else. Like, for one, personal hygiene is key. If you don't like, I don't know about y'all bitches, y'all dirty bitches wear summer disease. I wash it, dub. Dub, D-O-V-E, dub. Dove is a little bird. Dove is white. It comes in pink. It comes in green. Got cool ass scents. Oh, y'all think because Summer's Eve does too and it has a pH balance? Yeah, one thing y'all forgetting is just a mask. Summer's Eve is literally just a mask. They baby wipes is for, oh, well, I just had sex and I'm about to go home. Wipe is not for, oh, I, ain't, I don't feel like taking a shower. Let me wipe off real quick. No. 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 Because if I smell you, and I told some, listen, I told some girl before, you smell like fish, I'm going to need you to go back to the crib. I'm gay. Well, I'm not gay. I'm bi. To be more correct, apparently. So, going down on a girl before, ill, ill. Smell like Korean fish markets, yes. Smell like overseas, yes. These bitches be smelling like foreigners, yes. They smell like they did not discover the order they need to create one called Discover, so these bitches cannot find that shit. Like, yo, they, mm, dude, it's okay. I'm going to get on dudes, too, because dudes' balls be sweating and thinking that shit is okay. Like, mm, no, mm, no, mm, mm, pass, pass. You know most of y'all can catch STDs like that, just off the bat. Well, more STIs because they're infections. They're not really... You know, diseases, they're just infection. Like, you just got infected real quick. You can, get, you can get rid of that as long as you keep up your body. But STI is like, you fucking dirty dick or you fucking dirty pussy. Either way, you fucking something dirty. So that means, nah. I don't know what's worse. The fucking girl that had fucking maggots up her pussy or dirty bitches. I really don't. I think y'all in the same category in my mind. I do. I think y'all really in the same category. Because that's a real big problem. If you would think that kids in this generation would not smell bad because of all the hell that we put people through. My generation put people through hell. Personally, Parkway Center City class of 2015 was the worst bullying class ever. I will tell you quickly, I don't play about that personal hygiene shit. You stink, I'm going to tell you. Yo, bitch, you go wash your pussy, you smell like fish. And yo, bitch, you smell kind of raw. No. Like, dude, like, your balls is kind of sweaty. Would you just run out of gym real quick? No, dickhead. I'm going to need you to go shower real quick. I'm going to need you to go discover some deodorant. Go on the treasure hunt. Like, the fuck? I don't know what's going on in this world. This generation is going to wits. I think it's Trump dirty ass since he wanted to smell like overseas too. Mm. But I'm just keeping my opinion to myself. Anyway, TMI to the outbreak monkey on the bus, openly arguing about her newfound herpes in public. This bitch. This bitch. This bitch is infected with some shit that she'll never be able to get rid of. And it's talking about it. I feel bad for any dude that she don't tell and she gives hit and she lets him eat her. Bitch, he deserves to burn your pussy hole out. He deserves to pour gasoline in that bitch and set that bitch on fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, this is when I know this is a good team. I skipped over promos and shit. Oops, is my bad. Okay, if you want to purchase any products, any, any, any of these fine, fine products from Hood to Hood Station, or you have a question, or you want to be a host, oh, I'm sorry, or you want to be a guest, not a host, you ain't get there yet. At Hood to Hood Station, you can call us at 
7906. And for y'all, for some of y'all who are apparently don't speak slow enough, or 484 area code. 4, 6, 3. Regular part 3 numbers. 7, 9, 0, 06. The last of the numbers. You know, the ones that actually make a number a number. Or you can go to our lovely, 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 lovely new website. HuntingStation.com slash GoDaddy. Ugh. I don't feel right saying it. It makes me feel like it's owned by a pervert. But thank you. Thank you, GoDaddy. GoDaddy. Ew. Yeah, this is why I don't go on the website now. Anyway, Hot Body Silk Organic Skin Care. Discover the silk in your skin. All products are currently 3 for $25. We have the Healing Volcano Silk Salt Blend that detoxifies your skin and your body and system. We have also the Cleopatra Silk Skin Blend. It silkens and preserves your skin. And also the new peppermint foot soap. For all the CNAs that got hurting ass, bunions, and corn chips on their feet, yeah, you can soak it all in, all in your feet. All in your feces so you can be all comfortable. Now, coming soon, hot body silks. Body butter massage oils are to moisturize your skin after you detoxify that beautiful thing. With your own KC Glenn, you can check her out at Hood News. Hood News? Hood News. Hood News? Hood News. Check her out. She got some good shit. Now, Joffa Fra. With Keisha Green, our makeup specialist. Yay. Yay. She, they are the makers of the Royal Jelly. Catalogs are by mail orders only. Mmm, <laughs> shit. Or check out her website at www.myextensionsboutique.com. Again, I don't go on websites. So the website is really good. Uh, yep. Or you can check out her Facebook group and get ready to get your jaws tight. She'll be coming every Wednesday to y'all. What the shit? Y'all are missing it. Y'all got issues. Also, we got this amazing luxury here. Her raw Indian Brazilian deep wave. You can check her out on her Facebook group. It's multiple names, and I thought you was talking. Oh, shit. Shit. Amazing page. All hair. Oh, shit. That's a lot. All hair is only three bundles for $250. Oh, my gosh. Depend Depending on the length and color, it's three bundles for $250. The small man, mm, guys, guys, I have all my teeth. You know him as a kill bash here. I have all my teeth. Has three teeth partials for one ninety two hundred dollars plus tax. Two fifty plus tax. Call two six seven six seven eight eight five. Yes. Or would anybody want to help me smoke my medication? Shit. If you want the deal, call today for the sale. Again, his number is 267-678-8541. His name? Akil Bashir. Back to my team, my report, since that's more important. Anyway, well, again, if you need anything from Hood to his station, number, website, we'll be on 25, 26, 26, 26. 26, we back to freaking even numbers. Hi, my viewers. How are you doing? Can I get some more comments? I like y'all. Y'all, y'all interested. Y'all watching me. I don't feel creeped out by y'all. So cool. Cool. Again, the number is 484-463-7906. Or you can check out our website at put to his station. Yes. Dot com slash go daddy, which is even more creepier. Go daddy. Creepy. Oh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, child. Listen, y'all can't judge me. Team out to the lesbian stripper who pretends to be a male stripper. This bitch walking around with strap-ons. This bitch is scaring gay dudes straight. Oh, my God. It's Team out to the dyke 
that the pretends to be a male stripper to get more money from women. Mm -hmm. She's scaring all gay dudes straight. Hide your kids, hide your wives, and hide your husband too, because they just taking everybody out of here, apparently. I can't say the actual song because that person actually copyrighted his, his remix. That wasn't even a song at first, it was a news report. But eh, you want to be like five years old, I'm updated. How about that? Anyway. TMI to the Caucasians who think just because they are like 5% black, they can say the word in. I will, I'll say it. You ain't a nigga. You ain't a nigger. You ain't a that. You not, you not even a wigger to me. You are Caucasian. You are white. You are white skin tip. You already have a 740 as your credit score because you came out the womb knowing like, yo, I'm about to be CEO of this whole business. Like, I'm about to create some shit. The fuck? Just mm, 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 mm. <clears throat> TMI to the Facebook gangsters who, who think they are no oh shit, who are so tough on social media, but when you see them, they a whole pussy. Apparently, it says a whole different person is a whole pussy. You a whole pussy. You pussy and out. You a pussy, pussy, pussy. P U S S O I. It's like Eminem said, fuck, not fuck. F A C K. F A C K. Fuck. It's different. Like, see, what they going over Facebook, You what you going to do, cat blocks me to death? Because I'm going to just log out of fucking Facebook. Or even better yet, and block you. Or I'm going to just, I'm going to Facebook bully you. Fuck that. You want to you wanna comment on my shit? Pittsburgh, I know you watching. I do that shit to you because you do that shit to me. Oh, it happened recent? I told your ass I was going to talk about this shit. Ain't you upset? Pittsburgh real name is Anthony Wright. But anyway, <laughs> damn out to the girl who drew on her eyebrows and it rained outside and this bitch was looking like a lost puppy. She looked like she died. She looked dead. She looked dead. Mm -mm. Ooh, she looked like a crying clown. You, Netflix got a new show called, new movie called The Clown. She looked like that. And he has black eye shit. He, she killed me with children. She anyway. looks like, like that. Yo, she look no, that's not that's not you can't say the new Batman because the new Batman is a faggot. Yes, he's gay as shit. Anyway, the one that's in Suicide Squad is a faggot. Uh the old one, the one that committed suicide because he was the real MVP of this motherfucking game in Batman. Joker. I know his name's a joker. He deserves more credit and in introduction. That nigga committed suicide over a character that wasn't even really him, but he thought he was. Nigga real crazy. Ow. Hurts. And the Joker, that that particular Joker, the 2012 Joker is always Bay. What's his name? Keith Ledger. Keith Ledger. He is Bay. He is Bay. He is Bay. That's my Bay. Don't touch my Bay. You can't even go to his grave site. How about that? Bay. He is Bay. Bay. Okay. <laughs> Nobody's allowed at his fucking grave site. How about that? Like the fuck. <laughs> See, I don't do he say she say shit. Help! Hood help! Hood help! Auntie got hood help! Hood help! I'm sorry, Auntie. I love you. I'm... You can see my eyeballs, right? Okay. Now, girls, 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 look walking around looking like fuck around a McDonald's. Bitches just looking like a wannabe Barbie. You too damn dark skin. Your weave is never that straight. And your weave is never that, you know, slayed. To be thinking you Barbie with, mm, I'm going to change the color before I say this out loud. Uh, blue lipstick. And what's the other color? And high pink. No, change it. High orange eyeshadow. You, yo, bitch, you a Skittle. You are a pork. You are swine, motherfucker. You are the true definition of a Starburst, dickhead. Oh, I love you too. No, Dee Dee Hines. Blank. Bane is Keith Ledger. Oh, Bane went up. Oh, Bane is Keith Ledger. Bane. Oh, okay. You know what? Fuck this whole conversation. <laughs> Danny. Any four. We got our Ebony alert. I was going to wait to the end so y'all can all get your information all together because we do have more to share anyway. But, just to let you know, 
We have a missing child. We have a missing adult. Her name is Shakia L. Harrison. She is 31 years old. She suffers from bipolar disorder, diabetes, and schizophrenia, and was last seen in the Overbrook area. Me personally, I think she's fine. Cause me, oh, it's Heath Ledger. Oh, I kept saying, oh, health ledger. Either way, man, dead. I don't think he can really hear me. The fuck? Oh, these damn years, he done died and went to a grave site. The fuck? I love you too, my kid. <laughs> fuck it. He dead and gone. Dead and gone. Dead and a. Anyway. <laughs> She is 5'3", 140 pounds, medium build, brown eyes, medium brown complexion, and she has black and blonde hair. If she wasn't missing, I would so make fun of her hair. Her ear, she, and it's also ear length. She wears a stri No, it's a she. Why is this a he? Was, she was last seen wearing a blue hoodie, blue jeans, and black Nike Air Max sneakers. Compliment frequent, compliment frequents the Overbrook area. So she is known around Overbrook. I said if she wasn't missing, I wasn't. You gonna make it worse? Cause I'ma start, Mom. Leave me alone. We also have an old Evelyn Senior City scene. He all seasoned and missing. So we need to go find a seasoned man. He's seasoned and missing. Your pictures are already in there. If you're not following the Ebony Alert group page, you got issues because that means you missing. I can't hear you. Shit. <laughs> that means you missing out on a whole lot of information. You can catch the pictures of both of these missing persons on the Ebony Alert page. It's not that hard. Like, now we have John Williams. I hope his name is John. The Philadelphia Department, Philadelphia Police Department. Needs assistance in locating a 77-year-old John Williams who suffers from de dementia and requires medication. Mr. Williams' res residence is on the 3200 block on North 27th Street. However, he was last seen at Broden Island subway station. Mr. Williams, he is 7, 170 pounds, medium brown complexion, with brown eyes and gray hair. He was last seen wearing gray sweatpants, a black leather jacket, and socks and sandals. Man, he is hot. He is very, very hot. Now, we got like two, three, two, three, 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 two, three. Tia my, Tia my, to the people who always want to jump the gun put, and put their fucking foot in their motherfucking mouth and always backtrack and kiss ass because they don't know what the fuck they be fucking saying. <laughs> right, Uncle Sean? Right? What the fuck? <laughs> so, people kissing ass now. Grace, ew, I can't. He's 77. He has gray sweatpants on. It's going to be hard to find him. Everybody wear gray. He hot as shit with that gray sweatpants on and leather jacket. Man, we need to go find Pop Pop. Yo, man, Harry, he strokes from the shit. And he... God forbid, but like, damn. TMI to the dick envy chicks who wear straight boys 24 7. This is for you. A day like she grew it on her own. You are not a boy. You still bleed out your vagina like I bleed out my vagina. Mm, boy, you are a girl. You are a girl, Damon. God, you, I don't, it's only true, it's only two genders. The only non gender thing that I'll believe in is an angel. Is angel, is it really so wrong in so many ways? Ew, I care. You're making it worse. <sighs> yes, I'm having a pity fit. I don't care. <laughs> now, now, I know multiple females that wear these strap on 24 7. One, it's plastic. Don't that shit chafe and. Well, yeah, don't that shit hurt your thighs and shit? I would think it would. Ow, my thighs hurt. Oh my gosh, dude. It looks weird, dude. It looks like your belt is inside out, dickhead. Like, mm mm mm. These young bulls nowadays, what y'all not even do? These young hippity hoppers. 
fuck that. These young hippity hoppers decided they gonna just start wearing strap ones. You're not a bull. Your mother birthed herself. Think about it like that. You came out your mother's vagina. You have a vagina. You come. You, your daughter, your son is coming out that vagina. If you wanna adopt, have fun. Rock out with your, rock out with your fake ass cocko. How about that? <laughs> Now, we're in the part of the show that we are going to the lineups for next week. Lineups, 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 So my sister and I, don't kill me, we have KNG Senior Cleaning Services. She will clean what your CNA won't. Check her out on her Facebook group at Katanya Glenn or you can call her at the station at 484-463-7906. Yo, perverts, I believe in whooping asses. If you're not handicapped, I'll whoop your ass. Don't touch my sister. Uh huh. Y'all see this face? I ain't playing. Mm hmm. I got glasses. I'm serious. We also got the perfect Delphi creations. I'm gonna see if she can make some herbalized cupcakes. Cause like on the cool IKEA, I love your I love your brand with the candles and incense and herbal cleansing teas and more. But it sounds like it should be food and everything should be purple. Can you make me purple cupcakes? <laughs> they could be all velvety. <laughs> oh, perfect velvet cupcakes. Bam. What? <laughs> this should sound good. <laughs> we could go back in the cat in the hat. Like, you know, in the movie when he made everything fucking purple. That shit look good. Except for the purple eggs. I ain't get it. I ain't get it. That shit was weird. That shit was wrong. Here, no, no. The cat in the hat in the movie. He made purple eggs and purple everything because of the box. And they decided to do a cooking show. This nigga cut, Jim Carrey cut off his fucking own tail on the cooking show trying to be smart and bang because he got frustrated. And the next words that they bleeped out, yay, you are my favorite. I get them on Valentine's Day. I don't even care that's next year. Man, I get purple cupcakes. Fuck y'all. Anyway. Monday, you catch me, 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 my crazy ass with the TMI report with me, 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 Dee Dee Gamble talking about some new shit. Also on Facebook Live, narcissistic. I am very narcissistic. I have realized this, but I'm not as bad as a certain. Shut up, that's me. You can catch me at Facebook Live, put it to his station, and you can also catch me on. Mimi! Hi, Mimi. Oh, yeah. I didn't pierce my ear, but I got no piercing. Cute. Oh, shit. I'm still lost. Shit! Tuesdays, you can catch my favorite auntie in the world right now. I don't know any other aunties. You're my only auntie at this point, so you are my favorite. Do I have other aunts? No. You are my only aunt, so you... Her name is LK. With the hood help, <laughs> she will be talking about the freaking milk, no, not milk, I'm sorry, the freaking water ionizing project that she will be talking on. Yay! Yay, 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 yay! Wednesdays, they are back to get ready to get your jaw tight with Keisha Green. Talking about people. Like, she just make y'all mad because she be spitting real shit and y'all can't understand it. Y'all not that smart yet. Mm, there's levels to this shit. Mm. Now, we got Thursdays with the very own KC Glenn with the letters to home. It is a converse, It is letters from inmates trying to reach out to their families or are reaching out to their families, but also sending their loves to his, his station and letting us, spread, letting us spread their experience to the world. I think that is really high. I think that's cool. I like this joint. Fridays, you can catch the session the session with Shiz Mac. I'm sorry, his name is not Shiz Mac to me. His name is Uncle Sean. I don't know what to tell y'all. Roastum is on Fridays. Roastum is literally what comes for you. Session. The session, then Roastum. The session is at 8. So we, damn, we just double booking and shit. Like, shit. Let me, hold up. We slay. What? We all doubling booking and shit. So Fridays, you can catch the session at 8 with the very own... I don't want to say his name like that. She's mad. 
<sighs> has launched on Podbean and SoundCloud and made me downloadable content. You can check it out with his co-host, the fucking Phil. He, the fucking Phil, is the host. And so is his wonderful, wonderful wife, Casey Gray. Wait, woo, woo, wait, wait. This is why they tell me I need to talk to other people before I come to see <laughs> With the very own L. I'm sorry, Ellie. I love you dearly. Harvey has Alexa. They have Alexa. They Alexa. Alexa, play this. Alexa, play this. Alexa. Mmm, I can't say that joke. We don't promote sex. Anyway, you can catch you can catch the roast them, roast them, roast them, roast them team at nine on SoundCloud and Podbean and Mimi downloadable content. Yes. Also, Sunday, stay tuned with us with the Hood News Report with me, Dee Dee Gamble, and the very own Casey Good. She she. Gonna be doing thing thing. Yes, 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 yes. At put to the station at Mimi TV, YouTube with me and her. I got tired of saying our names again. At nine. Now we starting June 9th. Oh my gosh, 2017. Not starting, but on this day. On this day, we are having a charity fundraiser for the Ebony Alert, hosted by Hood to Hood Station crew. That means all of us. That means it's a lot of us. It's so many y'all don't know. You don't see us for real. <laughs> we will be having a gourmet platter sale. $30 per platter. Must order four days in advance. Drop off is June 10th. Last delivery date. Read the bill. Oh, okay. On the menu is some shit that I hope y'all get because I will fuck y'all platters up. I have tried almost all this shit, except for, I'll get to that, you don't get the, you don't know, fuck that. So, we got the Parmesan and Romaine Crusted Salmon, a shrimp butter and Romaine saute, sauteed over a four, four ounce Parmesan and Romaine Crusted Salmon with potato stuffed crab, old baked corn, fresh baked mini garlic loaf, mini sweet potato pie. Mmm, Mr. I got potato pie. That potato pie, that potato pie. With, and also, we will have the white rice Cornish hen. This is the new thing I was talking about. This shit sounds good in the mwah, mwah, mwah. Delicioso. Stuffed Cornish hens with wild rice and feta cheese, deep fried, covered in sauce and baked, with yams, beef wellington, Mexican cornbread, and a mini fried apple pie. Last but not least, and my favorite of the whole thing, shrimp and steak. Oh, steak and shrimp. Either way, they go together. I don't care how you say it. Man, it's food. It is steak and shrimp. If you can't go wrong on me, oh, oh well, fucking okay. But that's a different story. You got a three ounce butter steak sauteed in garlic topped with a bit of shrimp. Uh huh. Uh, my mouth started watering. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. <laughs> we got the broccoli stuffed potato, the romaine cherry tomato fried cheese salad. I'll repeat that because I don't know what it is. Romaine cherry tomato fried cheese salad with ooh, rotel and cheese. Yo, you got to try my mama's rotel and cheese, guys. Oh, well, rotel and chips. Either way, I'll eat it. Does it work if you dip a stick of cheese in that joint? Oh. <laughs> With a mini peach cobbler. Mmm, peach cobbler. I never had peach cobbler, but I never did. I kind of want to try it. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Ain't that when the uh, peach is all mushy? I don't know. I don't like peach alcohol, so I don't know how this going to go. But also, don't forget our number at 484-463-7906 or our website, hoodtohistation.com slash godaddy. Don't forget our hashtags that we are making popping in live. Hashtag buy back the black and hashtag support Ebony Alert. Thank you. This has been Didi Gamble with the TMI Report. Love you. Mm -hmm.
hell. Mwah. Good night.